Johnny, congratulations. Your rider, Jose Serpa, won today's stage and your team is looking good for tomorrow. Can you give a reaction? Thank you. Uh, I am very happy. And uh, many, many compliments uh, to Jose Serpa, but uh, not only for him, because uh, all the team, all the team today was perfect. In uh, each breakaway, always one rider. Uh, Jackson Rodriguez, Alessandro De Marchi, uh, Jose Serpa, and Jonathan Monsalve in the finish with the other, with other three riders. And after uh, Jose Serpa, so it was a, a, a job of all the team. And uh, this, uh, I think, that represents uh, our team. A, a, a team uh, compact, very, very compact, and with friendly, with friendly between the riders. And this is very, very important. Today, Jose Rujano is very happy uh, for the winning of uh, Jose Serpa. I think that uh, tomorrow, I think, and I hope, the day of Jose Rujano and Jose Serpa will be happy also if tomorrow Jose Rujano will be able to win uh, not only the stage but uh, but overall classman but uh, for this uh, we await uh, tomorrow are you surprised that dave zabriski lost so much time today yes i am surprised uh, because uh, i think that uh, he was uh, sick uh, because uh, a, a rider as uh, zabriski if lost uh, too much time uh, is for the reason that uh, he is not uh, well well uh, uh, not, not, not in condition, but I think that he was a secret. Uh, he, he had uh, some uh, physical problems. How did Tom Danielson seem? I guess he and Jose Rohano were, were together for much of the finale. So did Jose Rohano see any weaknesses in Tom Danielson or were they similar strength? Yes, uh, <clears throat> I think that uh, tomorrow is very interesting. Uh, uh, between uh, Jose Rujano and, uh, and Tom Danielson. I don't know the leader, the new leader, the Australian rider. I don't know if uh, he is uh, very good uh, as a climber, but I think that uh, tomorrow will be very interesting uh, between uh, Rujano and, uh, and Danielson. Are you confident that Rujano can beat Danielson and take the yellow jersey? I think so. Uh, I think that uh, tomorrow we will prepare. We will prepare uh, the stage uh, this night uh, in a technical meeting, and uh, we will study very, very well all details because uh, tomorrow is uh, a very difficult uh, stage, and uh, mm, it is, uh, it, maybe it, it's easy uh, to think that. Uh, there will be a natural selection, but uh, I think that uh, uh, we must uh, study uh, when and where attack. And uh, uh, with uh, Ochoa, Monsalve, Rodriguez, you know that uh, we came here and I chose uh, a uh, team of uh, climbers with one worker, Alessandro De Marchi, and uh, we, and uh, I try not, no sprinter, and so we know that uh, in all the stage uh, for sprinter we will not able to make results, but uh, I think that uh, this is important for tomorrow for uh, overall class, and uh, I hope that, uh, that Jose Rujano uh, will be able to attack and uh, we must study if uh, if uh, um, at the beginning of the hill or uh, or in the medium or or uh, in the finish but not finish finish maybe three four kilometers and uh, sure that uh, this will depend from his condition in talking about when to attack, there is obviously four days left after tomorrow's stage. So, is it better for you to have a, as much of a lead as possible? You know, to make sure that there's no surprise moves in in, in those final four days. Um, cycling is uh, very interesting. Is uh, is fashion? 
my English is always very bad because I have not, not time to study, but I think that the world is fashion, cycling is fashion, for the question that uh, is not possible to uh, know what will happen. And so, if uh, tomorrow we'll be able to have the, the Jello jersey, um, we must wait each day and control, uh, pay attention each day because uh, because Tudelancau will finish only in Kuala Terica.